I get the feeling that people just wanted Izzy to lose. They wanted him to get some level of flipping comeuppance. I don't really know. I don't really understand it. I think it's a bit strange. And now everyone's kind of going back into the archives and digging out old videos of Alex, sorry, of Izzy talking bad about Alex and using it as justification as to why Alex stalked him down to the UFC and took his belt. I don't necessarily get it. I think, like I said before, if you're willing to go into an octagon or a ring with another man or woman in your underwear, using your arms, elbows, and legs, and shins, and strangling, you know, submission, whatever, um, to flip him fight them you have to be a little bit cocky you have to be a little bit delusional you have to be the opposite of humble you have to be kind of arrogant to think that you can do that because for the most part everyone you're getting in that ring or octagon with is usually of a higher level you're not fighting some guy that's that was just in the pub the other day you're fighting professionals who train their entire lives all year round to flip and fight so clearly they're going to be of a good standard so to go in there you kind of have to be a little bit cuckoo you kind of have to be a little bit cocky a little bit arrogant all that good stuff so i don't get why izzy's getting all this treatment but maybe again i'm missing something maybe i don't watch too much content and maybe izzy comes across like a real real bell end but i don't really get that from him i just get somebody that's ultra ultra confident in what they do which is completely fine i think for the most part but i guess some people aren't really fans of it which i'm not really too sure why but hey let's uh, play this video that somebody uploaded which basically gives you a background as to why some people may think Izzy might have deserved um, losing the way that he did which I don't really agree with but let's just play it anyway this is courtesy of an MMA subreddit I think told me that in March 2020 Israel Adesanya did actually if I play this will I get taken down because this is all like ESPN stuff in it a an interview with Sporting News Australia, probably one of dozens of interviews that he did before his fight against Yoel Romero. But there was something that he said in that interview that really resonated with Pejeda. And Adesanya said, he was asked about Pejeda and of course being knocked out by him. And he said that, he said that in the future, no one is going to know who this guy Pejeda is. He's going to be some guy at a pub talking to some girls and uh, he's going to look up the TV and say, oh, I fought that guy at one time. And it, yeah, Adesanya is going to be a legend. He's just going to be some guy at a bar. And 7,000 miles away, Alex Pajeda watched that interview. I don't even know how he found it. It was on YouTube, Sport News Australia, random interview. He saw that clip and he, it motivated him, it ignited him. Seven months later, he was signing with LFA. He wasn't even in MMA really full time at that point. But that, that one little 90 second clip motivated this man. Jesus. And a year, you know, a few months after that, he was getting a knockout in LFA. Year after that, he made his UFC debut, another knockout. And one year after that, we're here right now, MSG, Adesanya versus Pajeda 3. Earlier on, I had a fight night where um, kickboxing fight, people were like, oh, you know, if you leave it to the judges, that was a glory world title fight. People, and I, I won that fight, but then I didn't finish the guy. People were like, oh, well, that's what happens when you leave it to the judges. But that's easier said than when you're actually in the ring trying to do the work. But then, um, yeah, this fight I fought and I got knocked out. My first and only ever knockout loss. And then my only back-to-back -back loss as well. So for me, it was... Um, a lot of learning, a lot of learning. But I'm glad it happened because I wouldn't be here where I was. And even the same guy now doesn't, he watches all my fights and every time I fight, like clockwork, he'll try and put something out like, I beat this guy. But I've never ever watched any of his fights, ever. So at the end of the day, no one knows who the f he is. And he's gonna be that guy when I'm world champion, when I'm a legend. He's gonna be at some pub, talking some shit about, I beat that guy one time. Trying to get a dick sucked from a crack horse. Obviously, I'm not going to play that because that's definitely going to get taken me off of flipping YouTube. But you get the whole point of it. 